Welcome to Brett Ridgeway's Learning for Life. This is lesson one, part one of learning a tune from scratch. And we're going to be doing She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. That will be the tune that we're going to work on, that we're going to build on. Uh, we've already done one series using Boy Them Cabbages Down. And, uh, you know, that's a very, very easy song. And for that reason, it's a great song because it's easy to build on. So we're, we're doing She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain, and that will be the tool the foundation that we're going to build upon. Now, I want to say that so many people, all they care about is just learning tunes. They don't really care how to play. They don't really care about how to develop a tune. They don't really care about any of that. And what I'm telling you is when you learn to do what we're showing you, it's going to give you a whole new freedom when you play. Uh, I had a banjo student several years back, and uh, he had been playing for about two years, and he was very good. And I took him back to this method and he was like, wait a second, why, what are we doing this for? I know how to do all this stuff. And I went through step by step with him. Everything I'm showing you is in tablature. And what will happen is you'll start recognizing it in tablature instead of just looking at the notes and trying to figure out the notes. You'll see it by just looking at it. So this is going to help really to expand your playing on the banjo. So let's get into it. Uh, before we start the tune, I want you to learn the scale because even now we're going to do something we have not done previously. I don't think in any of the lessons I've taught, uh, but I want you to play your scale. We're in double C tuning on the bass string. It's going to be O, two, four, five. Now we did cover the scale in other videos, so we're going somewhere with this. O, two, four, five. O, two, four, five. O, two, four, five. Go to the next string. O, two, four, five. O oh, two four five O oh, two four five. Now, this third string at five is the same as the second string open. So instead of going down the neck, we're gonna play O oh, two four five O oh, two four second string. Sorry. There we go. And you actually want to learn both ways, but for the purpose of what we're doing today and in this series for this song, I don't want you to go to the five. I want you to go to the second string. Then two. Notice. Two and the first string are the same. So what you can do, if you want, is this. So get familiar with that and play it over and over. And I want you to actually hum it. See, we're doing something different here. I want you to hum it as you play it. Dun, 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 dun. You know, and then it gets a little high. I'm not going to do that online, but, <laughs> but but I want you to work on that, and I want you to hum it. So you want to get very comfortable with your scale. Now, she'll be coming around the mountain. He's going to th start on the third string open. All right, now, I don't really want you to watch what I just did. Remember, we're going to play this, and we're these notes are going to be in that... Uh, C scale. I don't know if I said G before, but in the C scale. So we're going to do this. Dun, dun, dun. Here's what I want you to do. Bum, bum, bum. You could actually use your hand. I want you to hum the tune. And if the note goes up, I want your hand to go up. If the note goes down, I want your hand to go down. You say, is this really important? Yes, it is. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. So it's going, starting lower, bum, up, 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 up. Actually the same. Same, down, 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 up, up, down, down. Now, 
if you remember, the second note was up. So we're playing our scale. So our next note up from this three open is going to be here. Bum, bum. Now our next note up is going to be this four. So let's let's sing the tune. Bum, bum, bum. You can tell that's flat. Bum, bum, bum. So we're going to go to the next note of our scale. Up. Bum, bum, bum. There it is. Bum, 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 bum. Now we're going to go down. So let's go down to the next note, which is going to be this four. Dun, 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 dun. So we know that's not right. So let's go down another one. Bum, 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 bum. There it is. Our next note down. Bum, bum. That's not right. We have to go up one more note, boom, which is the second string open. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Now, I purposely went to this four because I knew it was flat. You don't have to do that, obviously. I'm just showing you how you're going up and down. So what you're going to do is you, you are going to make several mistakes. Probably you are going to have to, you know, fret it and hope that's the right note but when you hum it it's going to tell you if it's the right note or not so what i want you to do we just taught you the first phrase is i want you to stop and i'm going to put a pause right here i want you to stop and try to figure out the rest of the tune just by humming it and by singing it and see if you could figure it out without me teaching it to you now i will teach it to you but i want you to stop and figure this out so Stop the video, either put it on pause. Uh, I've got a little space here that's going to tell you to do it and then try to figure out the rest of the tune. So welcome back. I hope that you uh, did stop. And, you know, whether you succeeded in picking out the rest of the tune does not matter at all. It really does not matter at this point at all. What does matter is whether you attempted it, whether you tried it. Whether you tried it or not says a lot about what you really want as far as learning. But it's also, you know, people don't want to fail. They don't want to mess up. If you're not willing to fail and if you're not willing to mess up, you're not willing to learn. Failure is not a bad thing. Failure is what a stepping stone to doing it right. So I really do hope you stopped and that you attempted to do that. And I'm going to nag you about it. <laughs> what else I want you to do is take songs like Mary Had a Little Lamb. Um, let's see. Right there. Start on the first string, second fret. And figure out Mary Had a Little Lamb. Take things like Three Blind Mice. The more you do this, the easier it begets. Begets. Begin. The easier it gets. I must be tired. The easier it gets. And uh, what you're going to do is your fingers will start knowing where to go without you thinking about it. So I hope again that you're going to take the time that you're going to apply throughout this week, take take little kid songs, nursery rhymes, and try to pick them out. And then also, before I show you the rest, try to pick, you know, she'll be coming around the mountain out. So we did the first phrase. Here's, let's continue. So let's do the second phrase. the first, here's the second. So, second string, second string, second fret, first string, second fret. Five, two, open, second string, open, second string, second fret. Five, then three, two, 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 open. And when I'm hitting these beats, I'm just filling in.
So I'm not going to actually go through all this and teach all of this because I want you to really listen. You know, I have some people say, I, I can't see your fingers. I can't see your fingers. What you want to do is you want to hear the notes. So I'm going to play it again for you very, very slow. And I want you to just watch. It's not the purpose of watching. It's the purpose of listening. And in fact, if you can listen to this video without looking and picking out this tune, trying to match what I'm playing, that's going to help develop that ear. So one more time, very, very slow. And, and this is not a hard tune. So five, two, open, second string at two, five, three, two, 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 open, second string. Third string, second fret. Second string at second fret open. Now here's where it switches. Third string, fourth fret. Then two. So what I want you to do is I really want you to work on this. Uh, I'm not going to give you anything else right now. Uh, next week, we'll give you two or three different things to do with the tune, but I really want you to learn this. I know it's a short lesson. You know, if you, le if you learn it, then practice what we did last, last month or last week, whatever. But I really, because you got to have that foundation. If you don't have that foundation, you know, the purpose of this is not to play She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain, it's to embellish it. It's to make it fancy. It's to add double, triple thumbing, all these other things. You have to have that foundation. You do not want to build on a faulty foundation. If you don't have that down and it's not firm, don't do the next lesson when it comes out. Just keep working on this. And I think you'll have it down. I don't think that's even going to be an issue. Uh, so work on that so you can play it by memory so that you can play it faster. Now, the idea of playing it faster is not so that you can play the tune fast. I'm taking a... Uh, language course called Duolingo, and I'm, I'm learning Spanish just because. And I'll tell you two things I do with that. You know, I could be up to the 10th lesson, and I don't keep going to the 11th and the 12th. I do the 10th, and then I go back and I do like two, four, five, six, just to review constantly. The other thing is they want you to speak the language. So basically, you speak into the, your phone and it tells you if it's right. And, you know, you could take a Spanish phrase and I can say it and it sounds like Tarzan talking, you know, where you're, you're very trying to pronounce each word. And that doesn't, they'll, they'll let you pass on that. But what I notice is when you say it fast, when you could say it fluent, then you have it down. And when you still have to pronounce everything, then you don't have it down. So taking that same idea, you want to be able to play this song without thinking so that when you come back next week, because we're not reteaching this song, when we come back next week and we add techniques, we're not reteaching the basic melody. You have that down as your foundation. So I do hope that helps. And, uh, you know, the only reason these lessons are out here is because of my patrons. If you're taking these lessons, if you're learning how to play Clawhammer banjo from this course, it's because though there are those who are giving. And, you know, the, and I'm going to just be honest. There are people who just, you know, why in the world should I pay for anything? You know, if it's free, just take it. And there are people who do that. They just, they take and take. My patrons are those who give back. They, they invest in their own learning process. When you invest in your own learning process, you understand and you learn much better because there is an investment. When you join Patron, even at the $5 level, that's the, the beginner level. It's really the foundation. That's what so many people do. 
uh, you get a sticker that says, I support traditional music. Uh, on top of that, you are invited to a one hour monthly live stream workshop on Zoom, where we all get together, we talk, we see each other, we, uh, we have a, a workshop, something that I teach or a jam. Uh, but even more important than that, you are investing in your own learning process. You are keeping this program alive. You are keeping it going. I couldn't do it unless I had patrons supporting this. So I want to thank them first and foremost and anyone who might consider becoming a patron. Uh, it is needed. It is, it's needed <laughs> and it is a help. I've not, so far I've not made a penny doing these lessons. I've been doing it for two years. The goal is to make, you know, something for the work that I'm putting into this. So any help would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Uh, we will see you next week for your next lesson. Work on this tune and uh, we're going to, it's going to get fun once you get the tune down and we start adding things. So see you soon. Uh, thanks so much and God bless.